this is Pete. Now Pete's been on the journey with us. Um, he came to us with a broken wing. We didn't know at the time, but he kept standing in front of my son's car um, and wouldn't move out the way. So my son had to get out the car, shoo him away, uh, wouldn't fly. Um, and then my husband came home and the cat ran out the house and nearly got Pete. Well, we're calling him Pete. Um, nearly got him and my husband had to shoo him away and my husband going, oh, you know, do you think he's injured? And I, and I was going, no, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. You know, nature will take care of nature himself. Lying in bed, my husband went, I wonder how Pete is. And I was like, who, who the hell is Pete? And he said, the pigeon. And so he's out all night. And then next morning, the um, two girls up the road got a broom underneath their car trying to get this pigeon out. And my husband went, I'm just going to go and help them. Well, he came back with the pigeon. Now we know that he can't fly, so obviously he would have been eaten by a fox. So my husband brought him back in. And we had to go and put him in a, um, a cat box. So he was in the cat box in the spare bedroom for about two days, weren't you? Um, so he was in there for two days, fed him, watered him, and thought, well, what are we going to do? So my husband said, I'll phone the vets phoned the vets and said oh I've got this injured pigeon um, can you fix his wing for him and the vets went um, well if you bring him in we'll do what's best for the bird and the husband was on the phone and he was going they're gonna kill him and I went <laughs> so he said is there um, a wild bird sanctuary anywhere and he said oh no they're not taking any of them um, in at the moment because the avian flu so we, um, so husband said, okay, I'll see you later. And then he came back, he said, no, we'll keep him Pete. So you know you live with us, don't you? So now we've converted the shed for this beautiful little shed, what we've got here for him. And he loves his peanuts, don't you, Pete? Yeah, you like your peanuts? So we converted the shed. So my uh, good... My husband's friend had got this um, guinea pig cage, so we sorted out the guinea pig, guinea pig, uh, guinea pig cage for him. Um, but he was like confined in there because I still want him to be a, a, a wild bird, even though he's sitting here with me. Um, so I put the cage what I've got here, and I made the door out of the guinea pig top cage. Um, and so I'm trying my best to give him the best food. But I'm not really, I haven't really got a clue on how to keep pigeons. So I've got him broccoli, I've got him peas, I've got all the different seeds. I've given him a, a mirror that he can look at himself. And he's also got the freedom of the garden, but I have to be out there because we've got um, some prey animals, uh, some birds that fly around. So we have to be out with him. So I'm like his chaperone. <laughs> So he likes to go mix with all the other pigeons, but I'd really like your help um, to see what's the best for him. Um, hello. Um, I don't want to touch him because I don't want to, you know, be that sort of um, close to him. Um, no, but it's lovely. So if you've got any guidelines or anything that I can do to help Pete, that would be really, really much appreciated. So any comments below that would be great on how i could help feed him um i've heard like there's worms and things and, and, and what to use that was his broken wing he's got a isn't it your bad one so he can move it but he can't fly if i could do an operation and fix him myself then, then i would so any information that you could give me that would be really appreciated and Hopefully I might do an update for what I've done next. Thank you.